What's up everyone, Kyle here from Driving and Vibing, and uh, yeah, it is day two up here at Alabama Ironworks working on this frame. Got a few more things to do, but then also, we're gonna go pick up the axles, so stay tuned. Welcome back to the channel everyone. So if this is your first time here, make sure you hit that subscribe button because we put out five videos every week, mostly about RV living, Airstream renovations. So yeah, hit that subscribe button. But today I'm finishing work on the trailer to prepare it for sandblasting. Pretty much that includes uh, removing that channel that I removed on, I believe it was Tuesday that I showed you guys. I'll link the video above if you wanna see that but also a few other mechanisms we're gonna remove and then we're gonna pick up the axles. So it's gonna be a fun day. And uh, yeah, so let's get to work here because I think this should be an easy job, but every time I say that, it always ends up being pretty difficult. So let me get started and see if we can knock this out and then we'll go get those axles. So I got the uh, first section done for today. I got two more sections left to go. Um, when I put this video out earlier this week, I was informed by some folks that they say that this piece of metal that was welded in to this C type of frame was to create what they call a box frame or boxed frame, I guess, to add more support, which uh, I can get on board with that. Some people thought it was just to protect the wires, which seems legit too, honestly. Uh, I don't really know. And uh, on YouTube, we get tons of different opinions. I like hearing all of them. But uh, rest assured, I will put some metal back in there. And uh, for you folks that think it's a box channel to make added structure, I would like to know if your opinion is that uh, does, the whole, does the metal plate that goes back in need to be the whole length? Can I put, say, like eight inch channels in and then free up some space, like a few inches, and then put more another eight inch piece of metal in? Uh, let me know what you think. Uh, just curious because I like hearing all the perspectives and knowledge we got out there. So let me get back to work. It's hot out here today, but I think I can knock it out. All right, so I finished the second um, section down here. Got one more small section to go, but I have to say more rust than I would like to see beneath this wall. That's why we're removing these walls though, because we don't want this rust to stay hidden. We want to be able to sandblast it, treat it, and then seal it up really good so there's no issues in the future. I think this is, uh, I don't think this is damaged enough to have concern about. Uh, we'll definitely get an expert opinion about that. But there is just some pitting going on and uh, if we do need to add a little reinforcement, we definitely will. y'all so I completed every last thing with the frame that needs to be done before we get it sandblasted it's looking pretty good like I said got a few more rust spots in there that I didn't want to see today but whatever at least I sa I saw them because otherwise if I wouldn't have removed those um, metal plates I would have never seen that rust so now we know it's there, now we can treat it appropriately. So next up is getting the axles, but nothing is ever just that simple. I'm actually gonna jump in the truck tomorrow and drive to North Alabama to get those axles. You won't have to wait till tomorrow. I'll be on my way in just a few seconds here, so 
let's get those things. All right, good morning everyone. It is actually 5.30 now in the morning and I am making my way up to North Alabama. I am the type that likes a solid game plan on a long travel day like this and I'm gonna go up there, pick up those axles and come back down all in one day. That is the plan. So yeah, gonna grab us a cup of coffee, a bite to eat, be on the way and uh, hopefully be up there around noontime, even before noon I think. So yeah, uh, I hope it all goes well. I'm still waking up though. Come along for the ride today. everyone so it is now uh, almost 10 o'clock and uh, I'm about a hundred miles away from the factory where I'm picking up the axles it's been an easy ride so far uh, just all interstate so far about to hop off the interstate get on some state highways slow it down a little bit but hopefully get some better scenery just filled up with gas washed the window which was much needed because those driving shots were looking a little rough <laughs> All right, let's get on over there, pick up those axles, and uh, head on back. So I got the axles. Uh, it was, they look beautiful. Oh my god, they just look amazing <laughs> compared to the axles that are on there now. I can absolutely not wait to get those installed once the frame gets completely done. That is going to be looking so good. It is going to be in great condition. Uh, so we got these axles working with Inland RV. It's an RV um, company out in California. They really specialize in Airstream parts. So we've been so excited to work with those guys to get these axles. They got them modified here at North Alabama through a company that they work with. We'll tell you all about Inland RV and all the specs of these axles, uh, you know, in a, later on this week, once we get them out and can show you a better view of them and everything. But I'm thrilled that we picked them up and a huge shout out to Inland RV. I'll link that below so you can check out their website. But on the way home now it's been six hours to get up here to pick those things up i'm hoping it takes six hours to get back i'll be back while the sun's still up and that's the plan so onward to our home y'all i am on the home stretch about two miles away from the fiber stream it is right around six o'clock in the evening and this uh whole adventure took about 12 hours and about 80 bucks uh but in the end totally worth it i cannot wait to pull up and show olivia these axles i hope she's around when i get back Kyle just got home with our brand new axles 
and I can't believe that he made this trip so quickly and easily. The axles look beautiful. We've got them stored underneath the shell of the trailer to keep them dry and clean in the time being. Hopefully we'll get them on in the next week and a half or so, but they look great and I'm so excited to see this part of the project come together. I decided not to go with Kyle today to Northern Alabama because River it has been going through some treatment and she needed me to be home with her to watch her and just monitor her and not be moving around too much. So we got some stuff done at home today. It was a productive day for everyone. And thank you guys so much for watching and joining us and we'll see you next time.